Thank you. Any questions? Yes, please. Uh, you mentioned that uh, some powers uh, tried to destroy all crops and fields. Uh, my question is, they, uh, this will destroy them too. Yeah, I know. The, the, you can't see the logic. For example, if you look at the uh, release of the avian flu, the fact is if you make vaccines, the virus keeps changing so quickly that unless you're using something like advanced scalar weaponry, they're not going to stop this. It's going to continue to mutate. It's like insanity. George Bush's squinty-eyed daughters are breathing depleted uranium too. George Bush breathes depleted uranium. These people are fools. They're indwelt by demonic entities. We have to face the reality that is hard for the regular population to understand that demonic obsession and, and possession really does exist, but it exists in a way scientifically because people have to understand that the separation of science and spirituality is all based on ignorance. The real universe is a real universe. It's not just an imaginary archetype in your mind that's a good way of coping with the nature of the universe. It is a reality. These beings really do exist, both in the physical flesh and on the astral planes, which is why all the higher level Masonic orders or the black dragons or the higher level Buddhist dark monks and so on, all of them are indwelt by demonic astral entities. Yep, go ahead. Yes. Are there transdimensional beings who are on our side helping us? Of course there are. Mm -hmm. Of course there are. There are, uh, there are very advanced civilizations and beings. Uh, they would call them angels. The mean, angel means messenger of the Most High God. Now, for an ancient society 3,000 years ago, it's very hard to say to a shepherd that someone's from a specific star system or from a different time, space, or some when, not just somewhere. So it's very hard to explain to someone, but for our advanced culture, we should not be so naive to think that God does not have the sons of God. It says the Ben Elohim cried with joy at the creation of the earth. The fact is that we are a, a, a uh, juvenile society, a boat to walk, and they're all looking at us to see if we'll walk or die. And they're there trying to not interfere, but the angels are there. We might call them angels like the in the angels that they mytholo mythologize through the Middle Ages or they draw wings on them. But uh, these advanced beings exist. They, everybody's always known them. Back through the Middle Ages, right through the Middle East, they say if you have a stranger, you make sure you treat him well and you feed them because you never know when he may be an angel. Uh, so, of course they exist. Everybody's known that. Anybody who says they don't believe it just hasn't read any history. Are they creating and guiding the star children? Well, those, all those, when you're talking about the star children, literally, uh, we as spirit beings make decisions as to wh where we are uh, incarnated and where we exist. And uh, when you're saying they're directing them, of course the angels are there. When you talk about guardian angels, so when people had an intuitive knowledge and even these other religions like the Catholics and so on, they understood, and the Buddhists, they knew there were positive, uh, if you want to call it spiritual entities that are in harmony with the Most High God that are, of course, trying to intervene. Why do you think the earth is not just total chaos? If it was, listen, with what I've been underground with these facilities and what I know is going on, the only way that we could even have this meeting tonight and I could even fly my jet in here even though my, my other bag didn't arrive is because there's angels trying to fight against it. I had so much opposition to come here. I traveled in 1999 to 42 cities in Israel and through the 90s and before. Uh, cities all over the U.S. and Canada and I've never had such opposition as trying to come here to speak today. And the reason is... We're coming very close to them signing the peace treaty that's going to partition Israel and the uh, city of Jerusalem. And when they sign that peace treaty, count the clock. Because the sealing of the sons and daughters of the Most High will start on day one of them signing that treaty. And that sealing will end at exactly 1260 days. So you're hearing that today. If you go on my website, you'll pick up and you can see this, the first two chapters of the small scroll. The first one, chapter I received back in 1998. The second chapter I released in, in 2003. And there's 10 more chapters to be released. If you read that, you will read not the words of a man, but you read the words that were given to me by the Most High. And they're words that will speak to you and make you understand and cry for what's going on in our world. People are always looking for a technical answer. They want to be entertained with archaeology or pictures or artifacts.
What they have to know is that they need to stop looking outside and start looking inside to their spirit because if they ask the right questions, all of the answers are already in their spirit because they're children of the Most High. And when they look and they call them star children, we're all star children. We're all star children. They're just getting, starting to open up. They're like the bubbles in the bottle. Little children opening up their eyes. My little daughter with Down syndrome, she, she knew when my uh, son's wife was pregnant, she just put her hand on her tummy and says, said, Naomi's pregnant. Naomi's going to have a baby. You know why? She's my daughter. I'm a medical intuitive. I can tell and feel people and, and help them thousands of miles away. I don't need to be with them. And the reason is, that's the nature of what we are. I'm not different. I'm the same as you. Those parts of my being have just been opened up. And what I'm trying to say tonight is we are the sons and daughters of the Most High God. We have to stop being mechanistic Cartesian uh, men and women that are machines. We're not a biological machine. We're a supernatural super being. We are an eternal super being that needs to start facing that reality or our civilization will die. How yes. do we open up these new areas that are open to you? And I mean, the, the first thing that I'm doing is I'm trying to give more teachings on my website, my show. The second thing I'm, I'm going to do too is I can pray with people and I can also, uh, with time, and it has to be them being drawn to be prayed. What I do is I pray for them firstly for their name. And their name literally is like a trajectory. It's like a, it says in the Bible, it talks that they shall be given a white stone with their name on it that uh, only them and the Most High shall know. And it is like it, their way. So when you tell someone that they have to have religion, what you really should be telling them is to start reading from their book of life, which is their trajectory, their name, which is their spirit name of what they are. Their book is a very large book. And that's the problem is people are expecting to have a pat answer. And so what they need to do first is they have to start seeking. Once they seek enough, people have called me and said, well, I'm ready to receive my name. I said, no, you're not. You're not ready. I can tell. My spirit can tell they're not ready. When they're ready, they'll know that there's a, a ring in their spirit that they're ready to know their name because taking your name means you have a trajectory. You have a responsibility. When I took my name, I knew I had to let my practice go. I had to let my fear of death go. I had to let my fear of never seeing my family go. I had to know that for me to be what I am, which is a prophet of the Most High God, I had to speak out and say things that were so shocking to my professionals that they would think I was insane. I had to speak out and tell whistleblowing things that were so upsetting that people would say, how can you say that, even if you've got proof? So it's a journey, and you get on that pathway. A lot of people say that they're ready, but they're not. What they need to do is they need to get in some very serious prayer and cry out for what they are first. And then when they're ready, come to me. Call me, and I'll pray with them. They can be 1,000 or 10,000 miles away, and I'll tell them. And once they start get acquiring their name, and once they start feeling that, that the, the Spirit of the Most High enter them, then they'll start acquiring it. They don't need a formula. They don't need to go to a temple. They don't need to pay any money. They don't need to join a church. What they need to know is they need to start having the pathway to their pathway to the Most High. That's what they need. Because anything else is mind control. So, so how do we get to the rest of the sheeple? The first thing people, as they sell, they're looking for the answer like you're looking for an answer now. What I want people to do is start looking for the questions. That was the chief thing that I was trying to say tonight. You need to look for the spiritual questions. Once you look for those spiritual questions, the answers were always there. They were there in your spirit body before the framing of the universe. Your bioplasmatic entity that was you was always there and always knew the answer. Right? Any other questions? You're welcome. All right. Thank you for inviting me. <laughs> I'm sorry I tired you out so much. No, no, not at all. <laughs> well, we hope you like that presentation of Dr. William Deagle. Yeah. Uh, I know you guys are a little tired. Uh, you don't have to worry or being rushed out. Take your time. And uh, we do have probably copies of this uh, tonight, believe it or not. 
Our next uh, forum at the Granada Forum will be Dr. Stanley Monteef in February 2007. We want to thank you again for tuning into the Granada Forum. For those who saw us, we're still working on a few little kinks, and we'll, we're getting better. Thank you, America, for viewing. Um, again, uh, happy holidays, uh, happy Hanukkah, Merry Christmas, Happy New Year. We'll see you for 2007 for Dr. Stanley Monteef. Thank you so much, and God bless. Yeah. Next time I come, you'll see me, you'll see I wear my tally.